Yeah. They're recording. They're recording. My hand smells like fucking shit. Mm. That fucking towel made a stink. So what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Eddie Air 23. Yeah, we're gonna give away two free iPads, everybody. Two free iPads when we hit a thousand subscribers. Two free iPads. Yeah. So subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We got them right here in hand. We got a red one and we got a black one. Uh, so before we start the video, I just want to apologize for the big delay. Shit got real for us. We both lost our jobs. <laughs> I have a lot of shit going on at school. So we're trying to get these shits to you guys as quick as possible. But, so just hang on in there. Subscribe. And I promise you we'll bring you some good shit. Alright? Thank you. Well, we got the Jordan Retro 8, also known as the Bugs Bunny. Um, these shoes are famously known for uh, Space Jam. For those of you guys who haven't seen Space Jam. If you haven't seen Space Jam, you haven't had a childhood. So yeah, so that's what all the hype is about. So let's get to the shoe. Not really, not what the hype is about. That's what the hype is about. That's, just, that's exactly what the hype is about. Uh, just like, um, like I said, it's an OG colorway. But it's OG because of Bugs Bunny. Okay, well it came out on Space Jam, but it still it came out back then. Put it, so, put it this way, it's one of the first A's that came out. If, if not, it is the first eight that came out. So a big thing that happened with this shoe release was that uh, Air Jordan brought back the retro cards, which I think is a big thing. I think it's a big thing. Well, I mean, it's kind of cool for you because you never experienced that. That's why. I, mean, I think it's a cool thing. I mean, for Jordan to bring it back, I mean, it just it is good for people that never experienced it because you get fools like this. Hype beast. Yeah. Like me. Um, so this is the card right here. Mine came a little fucked up. So fuck you, Jordan. For not boxing this shit, right? You're complaining. I want my money's worth. Well. For the shoe, not the card. I bought it for the card. You would have still bought it if they didn't have the card. You I bought the shoe the for the fucking card. No, you did not. So yeah, so pretty much has a picture of Jordan himself doing his little jump man thing, you know. In the he has the eights on, but these are the aquas. Aquas. And then the back we have the eight, and all the list of the other shoes, all the way down to twenty-two. So the official colorway of these shoes are uh, white, black, and true red, because you know size eleven. You know, those are big feet. You know what they say about people with big feet, right? They got a little dick. <laughs> Holla. So let's get to the shoe. So these are the Jordan Retro Eight. Bugs Bunny. So pretty much, it's a very, very simple shoe, but very complex shoe at the same time. Why? Why? Because look at this shit, bro. <laughs> how, well, how would you describe that? It's the pattern. It's the design pattern. Nothing you can describe about it. Alright, so this shoe is all pretty much white leather. You have all your uh, perforations in the shoe for your foot to breathe. Right? Um, on the back, we got like a suede. Thing going on this gray suede. I see a khaki, bro. Mm -mm. This fool is colorblind. I don't know. It's not khaki, this but like, but more, more in the like, more in the tan side. No. This is this is no. I, it's like a light gray. Tan is his shirt. Yeah, something like that. Mm -mm. I see something like that, but lighter. <laughs> Please pray for Renee. For his eyesight. So back to the shoe. So you, here's where you got the red, the black, the white, and the gray going on. This whole little mid panel. Mid, no, but like, what, what would you call Mental. the design? No, what oh. would you call the design? Like a cross hatch? Or, I feel like a lot of slashing or something. I feel like a more like an Asian style. I don't, I don't know. I like see like it. An anime? Yeah. Yeah, you also got in the bottom of the shoe on the sole. Then you have your white with your uh, craters in them. And then your Jordan, which is a little funky. It's a little funky. And then you have the gray going down the middle. Then it turns into black. All white sole, pretty much, with your mid panel, yes, gray and red. Then you also have this Velcro going back around the heel, and pretty much on this it says uh, Air Jordan on it. The back. These are for the straps that come on the front and the, and the side of the shoe. You just strap them in, you know. But you don't like the straps. Why? Uh, I don't like strapping. Why? They look choked. But isn't that how the shoe's supposed to be worn? If you play ball with them, yeah, but. It's it's gonna look stupid if you're wearing them like to wear them as a like fashion statement. Yeah, 
Oh, one cool thing I just noticed, the sway comes all the way down to the fucking, down the tongue. Around the tongue. So the sway goes down the middle. Then you have the white straps, all in leather, and in the back, glum leather. Uh, then you have your 23 inside the strap. You have your red buckles. Your tongue's all black, like a, kind of like a spandex. Nylon. Nylon kind of thing. And your shoelaces are all white. And you have your Jumpman logo on your tongue. The carpet thing going on, on the tongue. One shocking fact we found out about this shoe, which I'm very disappointed to report, was that there was a rumor that DJ... Forget him. Just say it. There's cardboard inside the shoe. Under the sole, there is cardboard. Which I'm very sad to find out. Poor quality shoe. Why? Why? Isn't Jordan getting his money worth out of this? Like, why put cardboard in the shoe? Because you're still gonna buy it. Yeah, but buyers don't know that. Buyers don't know that the shoe's gonna have cardboard in it. They don't care regardless. I mean, this shoe was, I mean, the video I saw was linked before the shoe came out. Yeah, but. So people still knew about it. Yeah, but it was, a, we didn't know for sure, you feel me? Because we, we saw it and we're like, oh, well, is it in there? And then we bought the shoe and we checked and it was. We didn't know if it was real or not. Okay, all right, we'll put, this, put it this way. If you went to the store and you saw the carpet, under the the the, the sole, I mean the carpet. The, I know you always call it carpet. I don't know. Wrong I, I don't know. I mix them up. The cardboard. Oh, if you, you always see the cardboard under the sole, the uh, the in the insoles. Mm -hmm. You're still you you will still buy it or you won't. Honest answer. There you go. <laughs> so it doesn't matter what he does. People are still gonna buy it. So even if his shoes plastic, he'll buy it. I'll buy it. Hype beast. Oh, what's it got? So then inside the show, you have the red jump man in it. And that's your shoe. Pretty simple. I mean, that's quick. simple, but complex. So thanks you guys for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe. If you have any questions, make sure you guys comment. Make sure you like our video. Share our video. Let people know. Um, so see you guys next week. Wait. Bye. See you guys next week. You're lying to kiss me. Oh, how gay.